Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers, specifically how we can take the same number and look at it in multiple ways. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see over here on the left, we're going to use these representations. We're going to use this square flat for the 100. We're going to use this rod, this skinny stick for the 10, and a little dot or a cube if we were using physical manipulatives for a 1. So let's start with a pretty simple number. Let's say in second grade, we're looking at the number 150. How can we represent this with our base 10 representations? Well, I could start with the simplest way to do it would be to start with a 100 flat. So this square, that's going to represent my 100. And then I can show five 10 rods. And so this right here, these are not tally marks, these are representing these tens. And so that's going to be 150. Because what I have is I've got 100, and then I have 5 tens. And that, that 5 tens, that's what makes the 50. But is there a way to do this without using a 100 flat? Well, sure. If I wanted to, I could take my 150, and I could take this 100 flat right here, and that 100 is actually made up of 10 tens. So I can take that 100 and split it up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've got 10 tens right there. That's my 100. And I could take these 5 tens and bring them back down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you count all of it, you are going to have 50. 15 10s. And so the number 150 can be made with 105 tens. It could be made with 15 tens. Let's say I didn't want that many tens. What I could do is I could take my 150 and I could build it one more way. Let's build it over here. 150. What if I wanted to build it with 100 flats? So there's my 100. But only four tens. One, two, three. Four. So there's my 40. So you probably know I'm missing 10. I'm going to take this last 10 right here. And I'm going to break it up into 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's another 10. But what I have is I've got, and I'll put it right up here, 100. And I've got four tens. And then I've got 10 ones. Let's look at another example. We just finished decomposing or breaking numbers apart. Let's try composing or building numbers. So you see here, I've got three hundreds. And I have a whole lot of tens. I actually have 12 tens. And then I've got eight ones. My question is, is what number is this? And is there an easier way to build this number? Well, my 300s are fine, but that's an awful lot of tens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade some of these tens out. I know that 10 of one make one of the next. So 10 tens make 100. So I'll write that over here. 10 tens, I can bundle them together. That's going to equal 100. And so rather than counting all of these tens, I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to just add it over here. I'm just going to kind of put a little line through it so we know it's gone. And I'm going to add it over here. So now instead of three hundreds, I have four hundreds because I exchanged ten tens for a hundred. So now it's a little bit easier for me to build my number because I've got four hundred. And instead of twelve tens, now I've got two tens, just these two left over right here. So two tens makes 20. And then these eight ones, that's going to be eight in the ones place. So we built the number 428. Now we remembered that we exchanged 10 tens for a 100. That's not the only exchange you can make. Sometimes you're going to get a whole lot of ones. And if you get 10 ones, that's going to equal one. 10. So that's another exchange, another trade that you can keep in mind. So in green is the first way we built 428, and in red is the second way we built it. 